contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, hailing from Corinthos, Greece, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Green God, Papadon. The Junior Championship Wrestling, Jason here alongside Brandon Matheny. We are graced by an appearance of the Greek god Papadon. The two, sorry, the former Liberty Champion, the self-styled Alpha and Omega of wrestling, self-appointed governor of Real Town. Papadon expects a certain level of attention to detail. As he is intimidating by broadcast partner Brandon Medini. Papadon is not a fan of pizza. Papadon is not above is body shape. This is a battle of two former Liberty champions and two men who are hovering in title contention. While not an official number one contenders match by any means, you have to imagine that the winner of this match is in line for some kind of title opportunity. The Haas of all Haases. Explosive power and unbridled aggression. Devantes was the 2023 Liberty Lottery runner up the former central figure of the Shark Tank. He was beaten down and betrayed, and since then has actually never looked better. On his own, busting skulls and breaking faces, Devontes is having the time of his life. Introducing the greatest wrestler alive today, and definitely not from the cesspool of Alexandria, the Greek God, Papadon! Papadon is so much never at a loss for words, he actually has words to give to other people for him. fly a blimp with the amount of hot air running through Papadon at any given time. Papadon, a 20-plus year veteran of professional wrestling. Devante is coming up close to 10. That was the bell. Papadon has a blazing hot temper. Best not to get in his way. He's on his hands on many members of the, the announced staff. Thanks for your help there, Jason. Well, listen, he is... I love you, Brandon, but the reason I have short hair is 
instead of long hair now is because the last time I had long hair, Papadon ripped me to the floor backstage during an interview by it, and I realized it wasn't safe. So, uh, no, I'm not getting in the ring. That's fair. I will say, I, I will disagree with something you said earlier this evening. You said Desmond King is the strongest pound for pound in this company. I think it may be Devon is the strongest pound for pound in this company. There's certainly one and two. Do you agree on that? I agree with that. I would say that your power, I do think, goes to Desmond King, but when it comes to explosiveness, that's where I give the edge to Devontae's for anyone on the roster. I don't think anyone has the explosive power of Devontae's, which is why Papadon, who's no dummy, is looking to slow down from the start. Oh, sure. If you don't give Devontae's the space to get that momentum up for the power, he is a much different opponent. I won't say easier, because I think he's a tough win no matter what, but he's definitely different in that way. Oh! Leapfrog, and that is that explosive power that we were talking about. I, I think that Papadon just turned around into a back truck. The juggernaut running through the Greek god. Tossing Papadon aside like laundry. This is the shock and awe offense that Devontes wants to use to win these matches. He likes to finish them quickly. Oh, sure. I mean, the thing is, with that kind of explosive power, you've got a lot of power, but a relatively sh small tank. You have to get it done soon, or that lactic acid starts to build up, the muscles get stiff, and it's really hard to keep that up. Oh, very smart by Papadon, using the apron to his advantage there. Trapped. And Papadon surveying his handiwork because he's very satisfied. That's yes, well he should be. He's, he's turned them into this match. This is the veteran instincts of Papadon, who has ruled over wrestling for over 20 years. Look, Papadon will be the first to tell you, the Greeks invented wrestling. He's not wrong there. He, he did not personally, but the Greeks certainly did. And he has taken a lot of lessons from that. I think it's an open secret that Papadon is not like him, right? Like, Papadon is not the most popular member of the locker room. He's not the easiest person for management to deal with. So the reason that he keeps getting booked is because he's that good. Absolutely. This is, a, this is a business based on personalities, and Papadon has succeeded despite his. That is how effective he is in the ring. I mean, and you're absolutely right, Jason. I mean, I, I don't think that Papadon cares about being liked. No. He cares about being successful, and he's very good at that. He's extra incredibly successful. He's Two men, former Liberty champions, and now beginning to dissect the Haas. And Papadon just using Devontae's own mass against him there, building the momentum for the whip into the corner and taking him down. Very, very smart by the Greek guard. Papadon rolled, traveled, massive ego, quite a bit of it deserved. And the thing about Papadon's offense is it's so smart. It's just, it is basic, it is to the point, but it's so effective. He knows exactly what he's doing at all times, including exactly where the line of, of cheating is and how far he can put the reference. Papadon gets the most out of everything he does. It's very precise, it's very specific. That's a low blow. Our audience is catching strays here. Yeah, no kidding. Again, as you said, no one really likes Papa Don very much. What's the love? But a fantastic back suplex there. And after a strong start, we see Devontae's barely able to push out of this cover. See, that's the danger of, of that explosive offense. If it doesn't work right away, you're in trouble if the match goes much longer. Tough kick to the spine. Papadon turning things up a notch. And while it was only two, that was a great example of how Papadon is also able to be explosive. He can change the, the pace when it suits him. He chooses to keep things methodical because it's to his benefit. Absolutely. He is, he is the embodiment of Russell smarter, not harder. He is out there winning matches and doing things that are effective. And that is all he wants to do. Whatever the legality you know, aside, he'll do whatever it takes. And, and he doesn't care if it comes right up to that line or if the ref doesn't catch him. He's not cheating. Wrestling is in his DNA, as you mentioned, the this sport. And Bobadon truly believes that the genes for wrestling were personally passed down to him by his parents. 
Yeah, maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but certainly I think Devontae's may agree right now because Papadon fully in control and keeping Devontae's down on that mat. Devontae is trying to rally the crowd. He is not tapping out there. He is simply trying to get this crowd to give him some energy. It seems to be working too. Well, Papadon, Devontae is trying to get away there. Papadon very smart, holding on. Pulling him back in, keeping things close, and keeping that attack on. Well, what Papadon's offense has been varied as it needs to be, sort of dealing with the situation at hand at any given moment, has been a consistent thread, and that's been going to the lower back of Devontae. Well, you've got to believe that most of the power in Devontae, as most of the human body comes from there, but he's still going out for a German suplex right there. But look, holding his back, very slow to get to his feet. That took a lot out of Devontae's. Papadon sent to a different zip code. One. Now that I think he minds, it didn't sound like he thought very much of Alexander here, our second home. This is our, our second event here in the Northern Virginia area. We are looking to become a very permanent fixture of this area. Appreciate you watching and tuning in here to VCW, whether you're watching on YouTube or Title Match Network. Both men to their feet, Devontae simply give her hand right now. Rob Papadon with a clothesline and another. We saw Papadon, a little bit of slippery feet there. Is the barrage starting to wear? Oh, Von Vulcan attempted a snap suplex. The lower and back. Yeah, his back the immediately back. gives out. Papadon is doing a great job of targeting that lower back. And the problem is every time Devante lands, he's doing more damage to the lower back as well. Oh! That was an ill-thought-out move, and Devontae has paid for it. It was a risk, but it's part of his usual offense. Sometimes, Brandon, these wrestlers, they have these muscle memories from sequences and combinations that have been effective. I think that maybe Devontae didn't even realize how dangerous that was. I think he's realizing it now. He's in a bad way. And the spear to Papadon. Has he defeated a deity? I'm going to say not the normal pop we see on that spear from Devontae. Not even close. And you gotta believe he just can't quite get that explosive power out of his legs and lower back because of the damage he's taken. But as he bridged the gulf, because now Devontae is in rough shape, but Papadon seems to be sucking wind. We don't see Papadon struggling with breath very often. But just that quickly, driving Devontae's face into the corner, Papadon back in control. And you have to wonder, was that Devontae's last shot? Was that his last big burst of offense there? Now he wants to win. Well, that, that, that may be two separate things there, Jason. I think we've learned that we can never count the Haas of all Haas's out. That's why he's got the heart of a champion. And despite the protestations to the contrary, that was not three, that was two. Just two, referee Ron Mills confirming it. Papa Don very upset and letting the crowd get into his head here, giving Devontae a chance to catch his breath. That ego of Papadon that sometimes serves him and sometimes rules him in ways that is not productive. The thud on that kick, putting Devontae's doubled over. Papadon's gonna take the frustration on the audience out on Devontae's. Devontae's trying to get some separation there. Beautiful spot, but you're gonna get the cover. This is gonna be it! Not, but very, very close. Things have really turned around. You saw when Papadon got up for a brief moment, he just didn't know which way was which, and that cost him. Walked right into the spine bus. Yeah, that moment was all that Devontae needed. But Devontae is still really hurting, driven to the top rope there. Well, Devontae has three most significant maneuvers in his offense. The, oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, a hanging DDT there. This may be the end. Devontae somehow still staying with it. Devontae has got the spear. We've seen it. Devontae. Yes, Devontae's kicked out there and he's hardly moved since then. He's really, really struggling right now. What we haven't seen yet is the TKO. That might be the only thing but, that can take out Papadon. But can he get Papadon up for the TKO with that back? That's the question. That requires the most power out of him maneuver that Devontae tries, the most of that lower back power. And we're seeing here, Devontae, as the deeper it gets into the match, the slower Devontae is going. 
the less he is able to tap into that battery of energy, as you referred to it earlier. The tank is starting to run dry. Is the deeper we get into this match, the more it favors Pop Don. Despite the shots he's taking, I, I just think he's got more in the tank, and Devontae really needs to win this match very soon. But Devontae is starting to do things that we don't usually see. This is a guy who knows how to change the game plan late in the match. Papadon sits down. Papadon was struggling in full view of the referee. I think it shows the desperation at this point in the match that he's just grabbing onto the ropes so blatantly. Ron Mills. And Papadon hoisted by his own guitar. No. Man's kick out. But he's now, I, I would not try to go to Open referee, Ron Mills. Lifting him up, we called it, we called for it. Can he get him up to the TKO? Can he get over to the cover? And it, at a moment there, it seemed like Pavanaugh was wrestling a handicap match against Devontes and the referee. This match is a great example of the fact that sometimes the skill to actually make friends and positively influence people can be a benefit because if Devontes had gotten on the wrong side of Ron Mills, yeah, had gotten on the right sorry, side if Papadon had gotten on the wrong side of Ron Mills, he may be standing with his hand raised instead of looking up at the lights. Yeah, I think we're seeing the uh, the outcomes of his actions. This is this is a lesson in um, cause and effect, I think, for Papadon. A phenomenal match for both men, though and something that you gotta believe both of them are holding goals sometime soon. A great match and a teachable moment about consequences for all of us here at VCW.